When I'm talking about willpower, I normally talk about my personal experience. Today, I will say something totally different. Yes, I have been the person summiting Mount Everest, and I could talk about how I have climbed three times the face of Mount Everest, and I could talk about my 484 days lasting expedition to the South Pole, and this would be quite nice hero stories. But maybe I had a glass of red wine or two when I decided not to do that. So I'm sharing with you today a very personal, profound story, an experience about willpower. So how I gained it, that's the easy part. But then it gets more difficult how I lost it and then how I regained it after this loss. But first of all, let's have a look what willpower really is. Willpower is a collective term for a mental strength that enables us to overcome inner resistance. So willpower is nothing static. It can be strengthened like a muscle that gets trained. So does willpower when it gets challenged? This is the good news delivered to us by the scientists. But scientists also ask us to pay attention because willpower is not a perpetual mobile machine. Willpower can deplete if challenged too hard and too long. I did not know about all this. I never realized that I have trained my willpower since I was a young teenage girl and that it had become abnormal strong. When people ask me, Evelyn, where do you get all this inner strength from? I just didn't understand the question. <laughs> it was just there when I needed it, even for my biggest goal. Between 2006 and 2008, I showed the whole world what willpower really is. My expedition Antarctica started in Switzerland and aided 484 days later at the South Pole by only using my own muscle power. 25,000 kilometers on my bicycle, 1,200 kilometers walking on my skis, through 16 different countries on four different continents. So the foundation of... Oh, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the foundation of my strong willpower was based on three pillars I always could rely on, and actually everybody does. We feel happy when all these three pillars are on solid ground. So it's business, it's health, and it's relationship. We feel happy when we have a fulfilling job, we feel good when we are feeling healthy and strong. And we feel happy when we are loved by our friends and our family. If one pillar tilts, okay, it's not, nothing that is really bad. There are still two pillars that are supporting us. But if two pillars tilt, then it gets more difficult to find the equilibrium. And in my life, what happened? One pillar tilted, one started to shake, and the third one crashed totally. I never talked about that, but I want to talk about it today. And there is only one reason. If there is one person in this room right now, I can encourage to regain a bit of willpower then it's worth to share my story with all of you. So what happened with my pillars? So professionally, after this South Pole expedition, I was more exhausted than I thought I would be. I did not know if I could build up the strength again in future for another expedition and the motivation. So I had to ask myself some inconvenient questions for my business future. So this pillar started slightly to tilt. 
One year later, my health pillar was falling apart. I had an accident, or I was involved in an accident, and I suffered from a brain concussion. I had a headache for more than one year. So luckily, I had a wonderful man at this time. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. So I thought. But on my 45th birthday, he broke up with me. Well, we tried to give us a second chance, but things for me got worse and worse. And during of many debates, I feel like my legs went out from under me. I fall on the ground, and that wasn't so strange for me. I mean, you stand up and you restart where you just have finished some seconds ago. The strange thing was that I couldn't stand up again. My brain didn't want it to give or to deliver the demand to my legs to stand up, and my legs didn't want to receive the demands from my brain. So I tried to talk, but my brain didn't want to deliver the commands to my mouth, and my mouth didn't want to receive the demands from my brain. So now I'm here, laying on the ground, not being able to stand up again, not being able to talk. The strange thing was that it felt like heaven. So my willpower was so depleted that even all the sorrows had gone. I had no fear. I had no nothing. So my boyfriend, he called the ambulance. He called the doctor. All came with the whole scenario, blue flashing、uh, light, and now they are standing in my bedroom. Meanwhile, my my boyfriend had carried me on my bed, and they are discussing, and they want to bring me to the hospital. And that was the moment when the blockade released because I didn't want to go to the hospital at all. So finally. I was able to speak, and I said, "I don't need a hospital, and make sure that this man is leaving this house." And I was pointing with my finger to my boyfriend. I don't need a hospital. The only thing what I need is rest, silence, and sleep. So on my way back to regaining willpower, of course I was looking after the three pillars. Of course, I was looking after my health. I had a neurologist who was looking after my brain, and of course I was looking for new business opportunities and future. And of course,、um, yeah, finally I did definitely break up with this toxic relationship. But all this, to be honest, is only hardware. What is going on with the software? Looking back, I went through three steps. I didn't read that in books. I just came automatically or instinctively to it. So understand, accept, and act. Understand. I needed to understand why. The situation was this way and not the other way around. I had to understand who I am in this new situation, and I had to understand which changes are now necessary. Once I understood, I was able to move one step further. So, accept. I started to accept the situation how it was. I started to accept who I am in this new situation, and. I accepted the changes that had to be done. So then I was finally ready for the third step: act. Acting meant being ready for a new goal. But by setting a new goal, I needed first to let go of all the old goals first, all the old unfulfilled expectations. 
all the images, all the plans, and all the pictures. Letting go was very painful, and it was a long term. But at the end, in a good way. Because in this emptiness, I found the space to create a new goal. And from this moment on, I felt new strength. So that's my message for today. Let's power up our willpower muscles. Because the more we train them, the stronger they get, even if they deplete from time to time. Or let's say it like Schwarz Arnold Schwarzenegger says it, no pain, no gain. Thank you.